all go box clips. So what you're gonna find with J hooks is sometimes it takes a long time for that final target to hit on a J hook. Sometimes you will see this thing, this thing could go like this and then finally come up onto it. So we may have plenty of opportunities to take trades in between there. This is just experience speaking, so you gotta be careful. Now sometimes the J hook, you know, they, they go straight to target three, but I'm gonna get the majority of the, the meat of my profits out of T1 and T2. The T3 is just for fun. It would've been awesome if it just popped up there. I would've taken it short, but I also know if you, if you start looking at enough J hooks, you clear your charts and just look at J hooks, you'll see. Again, the size of the J hook too also matters. A large J hook, man, take a while. Smaller J hook, those actually are you know preferable for people who are starting out, particularly because you've got uh, smaller targets, smaller risk. So a nice little small J hook is awesome. Big ones, uh, it's bigger risk. And you really need to play other things, in my opinion, to uh, get you in the direction. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn.